So as you guys can tell by the title, I want to bring you guys a different format video today. Today I want to focus on pistols that you guys can buy for under $500 and also rifles that you can buy that are under 1000 So again, going to the gun show, you come across all kinds of good stuff, but today I want to strictly focus on pistols under 500 bucks and rifles under a thousand but before we get into today's video i want to give a quick shout out to all 15,220 subscribers if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be making content like this speaking of content you guys support the second amendment you guys love your freedom sticks and freedom seeds do me a favor smash that like button down below subscribe to this channel with the bell notifications on that way you guys get notified of future videos now before we get started i want to mention all my patreon supporters thank you guys very much it's because of you guys that we can bring all these cool gun show videos that you can view for free it's because of those guys supporting me over there on patreon if you like this channel and you want to support us honestly that's the best way to do it or if you don't have patreon you can use super thanks right here on youtube both links will be down in the description below all right guys with all that being said let's head to Jarheads, guns and ammos at the gun show, so I already know it's going to be a good show. But before we get inside, you can take a look and see that this parking lot is jam-packed, so I already know it's going to be full of people. I hope there's still some good deals left. Enough talking, let's get inside. Alright guys, here we go. We're at PJ's Armory, and once again, I'm going to say this. I said it before, I'll say it again. They have absolutely the best prices on ammo. Take a look at this. 9mm, $12.79 for for a box of 50, 500 rounds for $127. Again, best prices. You're not gonna find any better prices on ammo than here at PJ's Armor. You can see 380, box of 50 for 18 bucks. 40 Smith & Wesson, box of 50 for 19 bucks. 45 ACP, $23 for a box of 50. I believe the PMAGs, there's no price on it, but I believe it's $7.99. You're not gonna find any better prices on PMAGs than $7.99. Over here, you can see we have 7.62 by 39. 22 LR, 308. 12 gauge. Just take a look at those prices. Take a look at those prices. Just look at it. <laughs> Just look at it. Again, you're not going to find any better prices than here at PJ's Armory. All right, guys, slide on down the table a little bit further. We have this CZ P10F. And then keeping with the theme of today's video, you have a pistol here and it's coming in at $400. It is nine millimeter. And slide on up here, we have another CZ P10S. Again, this one is 9mm. It was 600 but you can see today it is on sale for 479 So another CZ for under 500 bucks. And we slide on over here. We have the P10M. This one is 9mm. It was 499 So it's coming in at under 500 bucks, but today it's on sale for 399 All right, slide on down the table a little bit further. You have an IWI Masada. This one is 9mm coming in at 459 and put that down and we slide on over here we said we have a couple more pistols we have the springfield hellcat this one is nine millimeter for those of you that don't know this one is coming in at 4.99 so just under 500 dollars and then we also have the canic this one is nine millimeter this one is also coming in just under 500 bucks 484 dollars for the canic all right guys here we go we have the taurus you have the g3c uh, obviously 9mm. This one's coming in at just 279 guys. So if you're looking for a pistol, obviously entry level pistol. You have the Taurus G2C, not going to break the bank at 280 You also have FN coming in at just under 500 bucks. The FN 502 coming in at 499 Switch on over here. We have another Taurus. Here we go. The Taurus TX22. This one is 22 LR. Again, not going to break the bank. Coming in at 329 and then we'll slide on over here. You have another Taurus GX4 XL 9mm. Again, 380. Not gonna break the bank when you buy a Taurus. Um, I will tell you that I do have Tauruses. I do like the reliability. I haven't had any issues that other people have experienced. So I do stand by it. It was actually my first pistol. Um, entry level, not gonna break the bank. So that's always good. Uh, here we have a Keltec P32. This one's coming in green, 32 ACP. Again, not gonna break the bank at 320 bucks. 
couple more pistols, but these are all over 500 except for this Ruger LCP Max. This one is coming in at uh, 380, and it's actually a coincidence because it is a 380. So it's a 380 coming in at 380, and last but not least, you can always count on High Point never breaking the bank. This one's coming in at 180. All right, guys, came across a couple of rifles. Obviously, they are PSA 5.56. Uh, these ones are coming in at $459 with the M-Lock rail. We have another version over here, PSA uh, AR-15s. These ones are coming in at $499 um, M-Lock rail with the Magpul sights. Again, $500, well below the $1,000 price tag for rifles. All right, guys, slide on down the table a little bit further. We have an Egyptian Hakim. This one is 8 millimeters. See if I can zoom in a little bit. This one is coming in at $900. We slide over just a little bit further. You have a PSA, a PSA K47. This one is 762 by 39 coming in at 650. And then last but not least, we have the 3030. Uh, this one is coming in at just under $1,000. Guys, if you like what you see and you want to get a hold of the vendor here, this is how you do it. All right, guys, we're sliding over to one of my favorite vendors over here. This is going to be Jarhead's Guns and Ammos, and he has a ton of pistols that are coming in under 500 bucks. We have the Bursa Thunder right here. This is 22 LR coming in at $324. Slide on up a little bit. We have another Bursa. This is the Th Thunder Plus. It is 380 coming in at $410. And we slide up here. We have a Taurus 856. This is 38 Special. This one's coming in at exactly 500 bucks. Uh, slide over a little bit further. We have the Bursa uh, TPR 9C. It is coming in 9mm, just under 500 bucks. Uh, this one's coming in at 482. We slide over a little bit further. We have some Skies. We have the PX1 G3. This is 9mm. This is coming in at 300 bucks. So this is definitely not going to break the bank. Got that nice little two tone color. And we also have a Ruger LCP Max. This one is 380. And this one's coming in just under 500 bucks. This one's coming in at. 480. If we slide on down a little bit further, we have the Taurus. You got the G3C. This one is 9mm coming in at 300 bucks. And then last but not least, we have another Sky. This is CPX. Uh, CPX1 G3. Uh, this one is 9mm. This one is coming in at 300 bucks. It's got that beautiful two tone color. And again, 300 bucks is not going to break the bank at all. All right, guys, slide on down a little bit further. You can see we have the Rifleman rifle from Jarhead's Guns and Ammo. This one has a low profile gas block, the nitride coated BCG, the billet, upper and lower receiver, the mil spec seven pound trigger, alpha grip, and the dexterous 90 degree safety, and the dexterous mag magazine release, mil spec uh, buffer system, 45 degree backup iron sights, and much, much more. If you guys like what you see and you guys want to get a hold of this vendor, here is how you do it. Hey guys, just a reminder that we need to be supporting organizations that help protect and defend our Second Amendment rights. And while there are many organizations out there, in my humble opinion, the best one is going to be GOA. They are always taking to court these tyrants that want to trample all over your Second Amendment rights, your God-given rights to your Second Amendment. So again, we need to support organizations that help protect and defend our Second Amendment. In my humble opinion, there's nobody better than GOA. All right, slide on down a little bit further. You can see we have a Taurus G3 Toro. This one is 17 plus one. It does come with two mags. I'm coming in at 375 and then right below it we have the GX4 Taurus. This one is 11 plus one. It does come with two mags and this one's just slightly cheaper at 350. If we slide over a little bit further, we have a SDS 1911. This one is a 45 ACP uh, 1911. This one is coming in at 450. That's probably one of the cheapest prices I've ever seen on a 1911 coming in at 450 for a 45 ACP. You're not gonna see much of those around. Slide on over a little bit further. We have a SIG. This one is P322. It is 22LR. Um, it is 20 plus one. Does come with two mags. This one is, well, besides light as hell, this one is 450. And then we slide on over a little bit further. You have some Smith and Wessons. Uh, we have the Shield Tiffany frame. This one is two mags, nine millimeter, coming in at 500 bucks. And then we also have a Smith and Wesson Shield EZ. I oh, actually have this pistol. Uh, two mags, eight plus one, nine millimeter, coming in at 500 bucks. All right, slide on down the table a little bit further. Here you can see we have a Garrison MC-285A. This one is 9mm, made in Turkey. 
Uh, this one is coming in at 375 and then if we slide on down a little bit further, you have one that's very close to $500. You have the Hellcat. This one does come with two mags coming in at 525 It's just over the $500 mark. You have another Hellcat. This one is Optic Cut coming in at $500. And if we slide on over a little bit further, we have one that's just under $500. So we have the Springfield XDS. This one is seven plus one, uh, two mags, nine millimeter. This one's coming in at 450. And then this one really surprised the hell out of me. You have a bunch of Berettas, two tone Berettas, um, single tone. You have the Beretta APX A1 Carry. They are coming in at $370. And then to top it off, they have a $50 rebate right now going on until uh, I believe May. So $370 for the gun, $50 rebate, $320 for these Berettas. They are 9mm, APX carry, two tone, $320 for a Beretta. If you guys like what you see and you guys want to get a hold of the vendor, here is how you do it. All right, guys, here you go. We're at a new vendor. This one, they happen to have a 1944 Mosin Nagat uh, Russian version. Let me see if I can zoom in on Sickle. Again, 1944 Mosin Nagat. This one's coming in at 850. I'm gonna slide on down the table a little bit further. You can see we have two different Wranglers, uh, Ruger Wranglers. These are both coming in at 299. I take that back. This Wrangler is coming in at 269, whereas this one's coming in at 299. All right, guys, this one is definitely not coming in at $500, um, but you can see how beautiful this Colt is. It is coming in at $3,500, but just take a look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, just wanted to share that with you guys. Let's get back to the video. All right, slide on down a little bit further. You can see we have a Ruger Security 9. This one is 9mm coming in at $459. Again, you got a Ruger coming in under $500, bucks, coming in at $459. If we slide over a little bit further, we have another Ruger LCP2 Lite. This one is 22LR. Tiny little thing. You can see how tiny it is coming in at $440. Um, we also have the LCP Max. Unfortunately, it's coming in just over $500, coming in at $519. Not really my color, though. Slide on over a little bit further. We have the MP Smith & Wesson MP 22C. This one is 22 LR. Um, it is 449. We also have the 380 Shield EZ. You have two, two of them. You have a two-tone, like a purple-black color coming in at 499. And then you also have the black one coming in at 499 as well. Both the same price, uh, coming in at just under 500 bucks. And then slide on down a little bit further. We have a Glock 44. This one coming in at 499. It is 22 LR. And then slide on down a little bit further. We have the Springfield. This one is coming in at 499 Springfield Armory XDS 45 ACP. Coming in just under 500 bucks. All right, slide on down a little bit further. You have a card. This is 49, 49, 45 ACP. It, it is uh, coming in just under 500 bucks at, at 499. Again, car. Uh, 45 ACP and then we can slide over here. We have the Taurus GX4. This one is 9 millimeter coming in at just under $400 again Taurus GX4 uh, 9 millimeter coming in at 399 just under 400 bucks and the last but not least we have the Canik TP9 Elite This is 9 millimeter and I believe it's coming in. Yep 499 just under $500 if you guys like what you see and you guys want to get a hold of this vendor here is how you do it all right, guys, here we are at a new vendor, and you can see we have a bunch of rifles here. The first one is um, Garand. This one is obviously not under 1000 It's coming in at 1700 bucks. but right next to it, we have the Finish um, M39. It is 7.62 by 54R. This one is under $1,000 at 999 and then right next to that, we have the Swedish M96. It is 6.5 by 55 Swede. It is under 1000 just by a hair. It is 999 uh, right next to it, we have another Swedish, and then next to that we have the Mosin. This one is 7.62 by 54. This one is definitely under a thousand bucks, coming in at 650. You can see how pretty that Mosin is. Let's slide on down a little bit further. Uh, we have a Chinese um, SKS 7.62 by 39. Uh, this one's coming in at 700 bucks, and then right next to that, oh, we have another finish. We already talked about that. This one is not a thousand. This one is actually really cool. Um, definitely not under a thousand that one is actually really cool i like that a lot 
uh, not under a thousand. And then we have this one. It is a Savage. Um, Savage Access, it is 308 Winchester. This one is coming in at 600 bucks. Right next to that, we have the Ruger M77 Mark II. It is 308 Winchester, and it's just over $1,000. I'm sure if you guys look around, you can find it for under 1000 but here at this gun show, this one is not under 1000 And then right next to that, we have all this black powder. These are definitely under definitely under 1000 bucks. We have, uh, let's see, where did it go? Thompson Center, uh, System 1. This is the 50 cal black powder coming in at $499. That is really cool. And slide on down a little bit further. You can see we have a couple more pistols. Well, black powder pistol. We have the Belgian Pinfire at 299. You have the Classic Arms uh, 36 caliber black powder 349. Belgian 44 caliber black powder 499. And then we have the U-boat flare gun. This one's coming in at 499. All right, guys. Sliding down a little bit further, you can see we have the Walther PPS. This one is nine millimeter coming in at just under $400. And then we slide up here to the Shield Easy. Oh, just kidding. This one's coming in at 599, so we'll go ahead and put that down. But if we slide over here, we have Walter P22, P22Q 22LR, of course. This one is coming in just under 400 bucks. And then up here, we have a Beretta, but it's over 500. We have the Keltec P32, 32 ACP. This one's coming in at 249. And slide over just a little bit further. You can see we have a car, car arms. Again, another car. This one is th uh, 380 ACP. This one's coming in at 399. If we slide over here, we have the German sports gun, the GSG 1911. This one is 22 LR, and it is coming in at just under 400 dollars at 399. And then last but not least, we have the Sig Sauer P322. This one obviously is th uh, 22 LR, coming in at just under. $500 at $499. If you guys like what you've seen, you guys want to get a hold of the vendor, here is how you do it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor. Hit that like button. Please make sure you are subscribed to this channel because you know YouTube likes to be playing games and unsubscribe you. So again, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And guys, I will see you at the next gun show. Take care, guys.